Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a 20 questions tag video. I basically just looked up different tag videos that I thought might be fun that I can do here on my channel. This really isn't associated with beauty or anything like that. This is just more for you guys to get to know me on a more personal level. So if you're interested in watching out the answers to the 20 questions, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it. I honestly didn't even really look at what the questions are, so I have no idea what you guys are about to find out about me, but we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. Okay. So the very first question is thing you cannot leave the house without. Okay. So, I mean, what's the generic thing? Like your purse or keys, stuff like that. Um, I really can't leave my house without my cell phone. Um, I don't know. I just like to have some form of communication in case something happens or let's be honest, just so I can keep up with my social media accounts. But yeah, I would probably say the one thing that I really don't like leaving my house without is definitely, definitely my cell phone. All right. Number two, what is my favorite brand of makeup? This is really, really tough. Okay. I'm going to do a favorite high end brand and then a favorite drugstore brand. So I would probably say that my favorite drugstore brand would be NYX. Ooh, no, I'm going to have to say Milani. No, I'm going to say NYX. Okay. And the reason why is because even though like, at least to my knowledge, NYX doesn't have foundation or at least I've never seen foundation from NYX, like in the drugstores um, near me or anything like that. But I love NYX because it has a wide range of products. I feel like their products are really, really good, um, especially for the price point. And I also love, I mean, obviously cruelty free, but I just, I don't know. Their quality is really good. Their eyeshadows are incredible. I love NYX eyeshadows. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to say NYX and then my high end one. Ooh, that's a really, really tough one. You know what? I am going to say Tarte. I don't use a lot of Tarte products here on my channel, but I am obsessed with Tarte. I love Tarte. I love their foundation. Like that was the first high end foundation that I ever owned was the Amazonian clay foundation. And I am obsessed with that foundation. It's my go-to like hands down. If my skin is having a freak out mode or if I'm like in between colors or something like that, like I'll always go back to my Tarte foundation and I love their lip products. Their eyeshadows are really good. They have so many gorgeous blushes. Okay. Yeah, definitely Tarte. Okay. Enough about that. Number three, what are my favorite flowers? Oh gosh. You know what? I love the smell of roses, but I would probably say my favorite flowers are hydrangeas. And I just think that they're like so cute. Like they're cute flowers. It's like a little bulb of prettiness. And I don't know. I just really, really love hydrangeas. And that's probably because like I've been telling my fiance that I really, really want to get some. And every single time we go to Home Depot or Lowe's to look at succulents and cacti, which is his thing, I never walk out with a hydrangea. So that's probably why I like them so much because I can't have them. <laughs> All right. Number four is what is my favorite clothing store? Okay. For this one, I would definitely have to say Macy's and that's because for years, my mom and I would always shop at like the annual sales, the semi-annual sales, the seasonal sales, like all of that stuff at Macy's and they always have really, really good quality clothes. And now as I've gotten older, I really like their brand, um, INC or Inc New York or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I just really love the quality of the clothes. Um, I just love department stores and I love Macy's. I never had a mall near me that had like a Nordstrom's or a Saks Fifth or anything like that. So I would definitely say Macy's. Um, I'm really not a huge fan of like forever 21 or anything like that, just because I think 
for one, their clothes quality is like not very good in my opinion compared to what I've been able to find elsewhere. And they're also a little on the pricier side when you're talking about the quality. So you're paying like $25 for like a bandage dress when you put it you know, through the wash or whatever a couple of times and it's going to be unraveled. So I would definitely say Macy's for my favorite store. What is my favorite perfume? Okay, this one is actually sitting up on my little shelf right now. It is uh, Fiori by, oh my God, let me move my light. Fiori by Vince Camuto. And I found that scent probably like a year to a year and a half ago. And I wear it religiously. Like that is my scent. I used to love um, DKNY, um, the green apple one. And all throughout like college and high school, that was my scent. But now I've like switched over to um, Fiori by Vince Camuto. I love it. It smells fresh. It smells feminine. It has like a hint of floral to it. It's just absolutely incredible. I'm one of those people who can't really wear musky smells very well because for some reason it doesn't mix well with my body chemistry <laughs> and it makes me a little bit stinky. So I really like fresh scents and this one, uh, Fiori, is like perfect because it's not so fresh to where it smells like you're wearing like Thai detergent or something like that, but it's like, oh, it's just perfect. Go and smell it at Macy's. <laughs> All right, what is number six? Heels or flats? Okay, so ever since I would probably say my master's program, which has been two years since I've graduated with my master's degree, I always wore heels. But since then, I am like religious in terms of wearing my flats. Like I hardly ever wear heels. Um, I play tennis in college and all throughout high school. So I have really, really bad knees. And I used to like go out dancing like for four hours a night and be able to wear heels and totally rock that look and all that kind of stuff. But now I wear heels to like dinner and a movie and I'm like, oh my God, get these bitches off my feet. You know what I'm saying? So I am definitely a flats girl now, but I still like, I love heels and I admire heels, but I just can't wear them for as long. Number seven, do you make good grades? This is kind of a funny story. So during my high school years, I actually went to like a college prep school um, in Florida. And so a lot of my peers were going to like Ivy League schools or like top tier schools and stuff like that. And I really loved school, but I also loved um, extracurricular activities. So like I mentioned, I played tennis. I was a thespian, so I um, was in drama club and stuff like that. And I would compete at thespian competitions. Um, not lesbian, thespian. I know some people think that's a joke, but it's really not. Um, <laughs> everyone like I don't know, like a lot of kids in high school would call us like the lesbians and stuff like that and it didn't make any sense to me, it still doesn't. But anyways, so I focused a lot on my extracurriculars during high school. I still made really great grades. I graduated with like a 3.7 or a 3.8, but <laughs> my first semester in undergrad, it was like your typical, I have freedom and I'm like away from my parents and I don't have to do anything. So I would like sit in my dorm room and like eat boxes of goldfish and skip class and stuff like that. And so I was pre-med at that time. And honestly, like I wasn't really clicking with any of the courses. I didn't have a passion for what I was doing, even though I thought that I would. I really didn't. Um, so I ended up on academic probation after my first semester and then I realized that I was in the wrong major so I switched my majors and then um, ended up with you know a pretty decent GPA for undergrad and then my master's and my doctoral program I've gotten straight A's so it, it's been a bumpy road I'm not gonna lie but you know as you realize something is your passion it just kind of comes much easier for you to be able to do well uh, so it kind of took me a while to get to that point but now that I really know what I want to do and I have high interest for it matter I'm better able to get good grades so 
All right, that was like way too long. Um, number eight, what is my favorite color? Purple, hands down, every day, all day, love purple, any shade of purple, plum, lavender, pinky purple, whatever, I don't care, I love me some purple. Do you drink energy drinks? Absolutely not. One time when I was driving back from um, a train station, I went with my now fiance and one of my old friends uh, to New York we drove back like the night that we got back from the train and I had part of a Red Bull, okay? Like not even half. And my heart was like beating a million miles a minute. I was like freaking out thinking I was having a heart attack. So ever since then, no, and never again. <laughs> Number 10 is do you drink juice? Okay, this is really weird, guys. Um, I would say I try to limit the amount of um, non-water liquid that I drink. That sounded really weird and awkward, but I try not to drink too much juice just because juice is typically very high in sugar and I don't like it um, whenever my glucose levels get too high. But every now and then I will thoroughly enjoy a glass of orange juice. That is definitely my favorite. All right, 11, do you like swimming? Yes, I love swimming. Whenever I was younger, um, my dad and I, and sometimes my younger brother and sister would go down to the Bahamas. Um, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I'm like an avid fisher woman. Um, not here in Georgia, but down in Florida, I would go fishing a lot with my dad. We would go um, red fishing and we would catch snapper and then we would go offshore for like tuna and wahoo and dolphin and stuff like that. In dolphin, I don't mean like the mammal, I mean like the fish. <laughs> you guys can look it up if you're confused. Um, but yeah, so we would go down to the Bahamas and we would snorkel and um, I've always wanted to dive. Um, I haven't got my certification for that, but that's definitely on my list now that I'm moving back to Florida. But yes, love swimming, love the feel of being in the ocean. Every single time I go back to Florida, I'm like always at the beach with my boogie board, like having the best time ever. So yeah. All right. Number 12. Do you eat fries with a fork? No, that's weird. I eat it with my fingers. <laughs> 13. What's your favorite moisturizer? So this one would have to be... Okay, I really... I don't know if this counts as a moisturizer, but I really love the Josie Moran um, light argon oil as my moisturizer. I use that all the time right now. I can't really afford it because I'm moving and I have to save up for that. But right now I've been loving my ASDM, um, Tamaza Kaluchi, Tepeza Kaluchi, something like that. It starts with a T, but it has really, really amazing healing properties. So if you have acne prone skin or if you have um, acne scarring and stuff like that, or even like cuts or whatever on your skin, like it's really, really good and effective at healing your skin and it keeps it really super moisturized. And the other one that I love by ASDM, Beverly Hills, um, and I do have a link down in my description box for you guys if you're interested in them, but it is called the Juicy Fruit Cream. And let me tell you something, like you literally need like a pea size of that stuff to cover your entire face. When it says Juicy Cream, like they literally mean that. It is so intensely moisturizing. I tend to only put it on at night, Otherwise, even though I have dry skin, I will start to get like greasy around my nose area because it's so intensely moisturizing, but I definitely use that at night. During the winter time, I will use that during the day because I'm just so dry, but those are probably my three favorite. 14, do you want to get married later on in life? Well, I'm getting married in five months, so that's pretty soon. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck with that one, but I'm happy I'm stuck. All right, number 15, do you get mad easily? When I was younger, in high school particularly, and like probably the first year of college, I had gone through a lot, a lot of stuff in high school, like a lot of bad stuff. Um, basically, long story short, I was dating a guy for three years. Turns out on our third anniversary, I found out that he was cheating on me with his physics teacher. All over the news, um, even some of my friends and family found out in Texas 
um, through the news and I was being slandered all over FloridaToday.com. You can probably still find my name. And so during that time, like I, I was an angry teenager. Like before then, like before all of that crazy stuff happened, I was like happy-go-lucky, you know, really nice girl. But then during that time and a little bit afterwards while I was still healing from all of that, I was definitely kind of a bitch, to be honest. Um, and I think that was just my way of protecting myself. But now, I don't feel like I get angry easily. I mean, I feel like that's a better question for my fiance since he's around me all the time. Um, I like to say that I get passionate. So, for example, if a political topic or some sort of topic comes up that I'm very passionate about or I have like a huge interest in, I get very like uppity about it and sometimes people can take that as like I don't know probably they probably don't take it as like I'm angry but I don't know I get very passionate I guess that's the Italian in me but no mad easily at least I don't feel mad 16 are you into ghost hunting um, no, because I'd be a freaking little pansy whenever it came to hunting ghosts, but I love scary movies. Um, it's funny because in high school, I always watched scary movies, and then I hit a period to where, like, I turned into a giant chicken and couldn't watch any scary movie, but now recently, me and my fiance, like, he, he loves them, so I've been getting back into them. Um, so, not ghost hunting, scary movie watching, absolutely. Do I have any phobias? Yes. Flying in an airplane. And before you guys say anything, I've done it three times. So I have at least attempted and tried. Last time I did it, I, you know, went into a giant panic attack. Like literally we're talking about movie style panic attack here. So won't be doing that anytime soon until I can afford some sort of exposure therapy. Um, 18, do you bite your nails? No, I don't, but my fiance does, and it really freaking annoys me. <laughs> um, number 19, have you ever had a near-death experience? I don't think so. The dramatic side of me wants to be like, oh my god, yes, I have. But no, I don't think realistically I have. One time when I was snorkeling in the Bahamas, I actually came across a shark. And um, I was in the water with my little brother and sister. My dad was probably like 40 feet away from us. Um, and he had speared a grouper. So that's why the shark was coming because it could smell the blood from the grouper. And I was probably more terrified that the shark could get one of my baby brothers or sisters. But that's not supposed to be plural. I only have one of each and they're twins. But um, that's like the only time that I felt really nervous, but it was a really cool experience. But death, no, I don't think so. I've never like choked or anything. No, my mom's choked though. <laughs> She's choked a lot, which is not funny. Um, <laughs> we all think that she has like a narrow um, passageway or something like that. Funny story, a couple of days ago, I got a phone call from my mom and she was like, you need to call your sister right now and tell her that you're thankful that she saved your mom's life. And I was like, what did you do now, mom? So apparently she like was home alone with my younger sister and my dad was like off night fishing with my little brother and so it was just them two home. My mom's like chewing on this tortilla chip and she starts to choke and my poor little sister had to give her the Heimlich maneuver. But yeah, that happens on probably like a six month basis. My mom chokes on something. 20. This is the best question of all. Do you drink coffee? Yes, I do. I'm a coffee fiend. I love coffee, have to have it every single day. If I don't have it, I'm a total grump. Um, I am also a coffee snob. So I, <laughs> I work in um, like a hospital doctor's office building and my fiance will drink the coffee there, but I will not like, oh, I can't even stand it. It just tastes so bad to me. So I love Starbucks. I love um, like the little hole in the wall coffee shops that you go to and they really, really know what they're doing. Uh, last time my fiance and I were at Atlantic Station, we went to this little coffee shop and I can't remember the name of it right now, 
but we got um, French press and it was, oh, it was so good. But yes, I love coffee, can't live without it, and I'm a snob. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, that is the end of this 20 questions tag. And I'm looking at my little camera right now and I'm about to hit 20 minutes. So this is perfect, right? Well, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and I hope that you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. I love watching this vi these types of videos on YouTube even whenever it's one of, you know, my beauty gurus who I love. I just love getting to know people. Um so I hope you guys like this video too. All right, well, I will see you next time. Bye.